So you've written an anthem. Um, what inspired uh, you to write the anthem? Uh, growing up in Australia and having so much ambiguity and uh, unknown things around anthems and uh, a lot of questions over the uh, over the topic of identity and national anthems. When I went to school, it was still God Save the, Save the Queen. And uh, we had to stand up and sing, very early on in my life, stand up and sing God Save the Queen. And before that, it was God Save the King. And then, when I was in primary school, it sort of changed to be uh, Asia Blue Skies things, like a celebration of Australia and its landscape and the fact that it was an island. We all, I can remember, we all made a big effort to learn the first verse of the anthem and we had quite a principal that was very intent on us learning this. But then it wasn't followed through in all the following years of schooling. So I, it seemed that everybody I grew up with, nobody really knew what the national anthem was. And I think it's even changed. Now it's changed from the Asia, there is a land of Asia, blah, blah. It's changed from the Asia blue skies to something else like, oh, Advance Australia Fair. So mm -hmm. this is less about the celebration of the landscape than let's all get together and go for it. And I think it's really something for the Olympic Games. So you were quite emotional about it. Yeah. Um, uh, it's a very emotional, a very emotional uh, anthem, I have to say. It's very stirring. In the darkness positive and uh, and I thought well to write something like that I really have to know and identify what is my internal landscape to then sing about it and uh, and it always has to be poetically couched and, and so I thought if I have to I need to identify this internal landscape and to uh, then be able to describe it in poetic terms and quite positive. But then when I came to do this internal landscape, it, it tended not to be so positive. I think nobody questions, but they're expected to question, mm. so they never question. If you can get around not questioning, then don't worry. I mean, it's such a big question and it's it's not uh, answerable, so why ask it? <laughs> even though it's hanging over everybody, even Indigenous people, like why, why, why and how? And there's no way going back. So then what does this current, what does this present give us? present as in not as in past what does the present and the future give us why and how yeah tell me a little bit about your role in this anthem i'm the drummer and would you say it's a religious song yes definitely mm. well we're talking religion is to do with faith <clears throat> and uh, i'm not a religious person as uh, like religious but i do have faith I'm not yet um, willing to disclose what that faith is about. I, I provide the percussive uh, elements and the uh, the uh, I guess the the um, the structure that um, Caroline's written for the piece um, really really called for um, you know very strident um, militaristic kind of drumming. And I wonder if you could talk a little bit about um, the technique of writing an anthem because I believe there are some specific rules that you need to apply when you're writing an anthem. 
Well, it has to rhyme and it has to be able to be sung in or out of tune. Like you can sing it out of tune, you don't have to be a good singer. And it has to have strident, clear chords. All around our questions like what? Everybody can sing along in chorus unison yes, and yes. it can be easily identifiable within the first three chords you can identify what that is. What are my beliefs and my celebrated ways? If I do something good is it really understood? If we win the world of fair now then why do we peace on earth? I think they are always about the words. They're never re really about the melody or the tune. I think the tune, um, I think as, uh, you know, as Carolyn may have mentioned, is, is very much about um, something that everybody can sing. When I was young, born a waking one born, I thought the infinite universe and how did God exist? Then where does he sing? And if he's holding our universe, then who's holding his? You know, we made a choice with this anthem. Uh, it was a collaboration, I think, with this you know, very clear that um, it needed to be something that, um, you know, stabbed people a little bit, gave them a little bit of a jolt. Um, and so the drumming was really quite, had to be very, quite, you know, very specific, very, um, very tight. And also something, you know, that, you know, I, I like with the lyrics and the melody, you know, something that anyone could pick up a pair of drumsticks and play. It's like a war cry, it's uniting your people and I think this is what I found so um, puzzling, perplexing about the national anthem is that it is so positive and strident and calling out to people and declaiming, uh, like, um, what, it's declaratory, it's talking about all the positive things in Australia, but we know that it's a sham. Why? 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 What? And how? And that there's... Who... Who gives a fuck that our land is girt by sea, you know? Uh, I mean, it's not one of the most important things we can say about Australia. I think they were very, they were struggling at what they could actually say positive about Australia, other than I suppose they have nice beaches. Would you like to see each person have a go at this? The drumming? Uh, the drumming and coming up with a national, well, a, a personal anthem. Um, well, I think it would be an interesting exercise for someone to sit down and, and, and attempt to try to write an anthem, especially one that's about their country and one that they feel very strongly about politically and socially. Um, I think that there's a lot, a lot of um, people who don't appreciate the anthems that have been applied to, to their country and the ones they're forced to sing in school or you know wherever they are. Um, so I say have a go, have a go at writing an anthem, and um, you know, you know, maybe even try being, uh, you know, your own band. Why? 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 What? And how? But it has some questions that I think each person can relate to, or most people can relate to, and I like that the national anthem has something to do with the interior and that Australians are guided to look within and to look beyond in an interior, inward-looking way. Bring out your drums, bring out your whatever you've got, your trombone, um, and you know, just write the anthem. It's very, it's very simple, actually. You know. I'd say tackle the big questions, and even if you're an atheist, you can sing that. Would you like to give us a few beats on your to take us out? Absolutely, sure. Right.